Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me today is Brady Gaster. Hey, Brady. How's it going? Good. We are wrapping up our look at the Smart Hotels 360 demo app. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our, if I count correctly, our fifth episode. We had an overview, then we did a deep dive into some of the code, the website, the mobile apps, the back-end services. And what we thought we'd do on this episode is take a look at how we can bring mixed reality to the equation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm wearing the HP Immersive headset, mm -hmm. and Brady, you're wearing a HoloLens. That's correct. And when I watched the Mixed Reality uh, launch, Alex Kipman was showing everything off, and it's really, really cool stuff. But I kept asking myself, you know, that's awesome for a consumer, but how do I as a developer make use of this stuff in applications that I'm building? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a scenario where we're going to use the same data that the website and the mobile apps, et cetera, have been collecting, and we're going to see how we can visualize it um, and we're going to run with that scenario. That's exactly right. That's exactly so right. talk us through it. I'll talk you through it. So kind of our scenario here is that uh, we have an international Smart Hotel 360 is an international hotel chain. And if Robert looks down just a little bit, you can see that what's on a uh, table in front of him in virtual space is a map of New York. And the idea behind this is Robert is actually in his office in London, which could be the Smart Hotel 360 corporate headquarters. I am one of the hotel admins uh, over one of the hotels in New York, uh, specifically the uh, the uh, Platinum Hotel Pl Platinum Hotel 360 uh, hotel. So what Actually, we're going to do I'm is in New York, aren't I? Pardon me. I think I'm in New York. You're in New York. You're uh, <laughs> well. You're in New York because that's kind of where I think the the idea is you're in my hotel's oh, conference room. Oh, I see. So that's kind of the idea. So, so right I'm now, in London and I'm seeing what's going on in New York. Exactly. So ah. you're in London. You're seeing what's going on in New York because we have a couple of different points that we want to look at. Some data points that we've saved up to Cosmos DB. Mm -hmm. We want to take a look at those data points and kind of make some decisions. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate through these hotels. So you can see here that I've got this awesome map of New York uh, here displayed on the table. And and Robert can see that in his virtual space. What I'll do now is I'll just go ahead and click on this because I'm going to go to the next hotel. And you'll see here that we've got the Sterling Hotel. So the same app is running both on the HoloLens and on Correct. your headset and my headset. Correct. That's, a, that's mm -hmm. a great point. You know, kind of the idea that we wanted uh, to, to say was, let's say you have all this data. You could make a dashboard. You could send somebody in Excel. But what if you want to have kind of an immersive experience where you kind of want to look at the environment, figure right. out what the customer experience looks like, figure out how you can make things better, and actually take those data points and make them in a more immersive environment. You mm -hmm. know, anybody can make a web page or a mobile app, but if you start to think about looking at that data in the context where it's appropriate, then you need virtual reality and mixed reality, and that's kind of where we are today. Okay. So this is the Sterling Smart Hotel. That's not the one that I'm concerned with. A buddy of mine runs that one, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go ahead and click a little bit further. And now what we're going to see the uh, next hotel is going to be the Sapphire Smart Hotel. And if I kind of look around, we can actually zoom in on the map and get some pretty good looks at stuff. You can see that their occupancy rating is around 95%, different with some of the other ones. But again, this isn't my hotel. I want to keep going. So I'll go ahead and air tap one more time. We'll click through and you'll see that right now we're looking at the Platinum Smart Hotel 360, which is indeed my hotel. And if I kind of look up and Robert kind of looks up at this graph, yeah, you can I see, see that. A, I see a red icon there. Mm. That can't be good. Uh, that, that, that can't be good. We actually have some data points we need to talk about because I think we need to make things a little bit better. So I want to go ahead and click on that guy. Yeah, you could or, click on that or I could click on you it. You could click on it too the using your controllers. Let me, let me do that because I that. am, after all, the CEO of this joint. This is true. So if I click on that. So there, I clicked there. on it, right? So yeah, so now you can see that we've got this social media sentiment thing over here. Now in this particular context, what we've been doing is we've been collecting social media commentary, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and so forth. And we're feeding that data into cognitive services uh, sentiment analysis to figure out whether or not they're positive or they're negative tweets. So you can see that apparently some folks in Twitter have been making some negative comments. So Robert, let's have you click on that real quick and we'll drill into it. Cool. And now you can see we've got a couple of tweets. Uh, we've got a tweet from Amanda, one from Scott, one from Beth, actually from Craig. There's one from Amanda. And you can see here that you know, they're basically saying, love the hotel. Scott's making a good comment. You know, I'm a public speaker. I need time to rehearse. Uh, the only thing that was kind of bad was there was you know, kind of a long line in the lobby to be able to check in and check out. Um, Craig's complaining that he, he might have missed his flight and that kind of thing. So obviously, we need to take a look at our lobby to figure out why we're having a little bit of a wait time. So what I want to do is we're going to actually take a look inside the lobby. So I'm going to walk around the table here. Apologies. Hopefully, I don't run into anything. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually zoom in directly inside the hotel lobby. 
So if you look at uh, what I can see, I can actually see a model of the hotel lobby. If I were to like walk over and look down in it, we can actually see this is a 3D model and I can actually see exactly how my hotel lobby looks. And if you look right here, there's actually Robert with his, uh, with his motion controller standing in the lobby so that he can take a little bit of a deeper look. Robert, yeah. do you see the lobby? You I kind do, of in I'm there? standing in the lobby. Cool, it's very awesome. cool, there's the front desk, there's an aquarium, and if I move, Nice and slowly, so that the people watching this don't get too nauseous. I can look outside, so this is our hotel. It's indeed our hotel. This Love is it. it. Yep, so what we can see here is, uh, we can kind of see the lobby. Uh, there's, there's nobody working there. That might explain why we uh, <laughs> you know, had such a long check-in time. But uh, you know, what we've done is we've kind of analyzed the traffic in the lobby. There's also no people, so there's I don't know what no the people. complaint is. See, that's true. So let's take a look at the average, the average amount of time it takes for people to, uh, to, to check in. So let me go ahead and air tap real quick. And what you'll see is that each one of these figures represents a couple of minutes of time. Um, and we kind of talked about this uh, in a previous meeting, and we kind of think that what we need to do is, you know, we've got all this technology, you know, what we talked about in the mobile uh, show is that people can use their app and they can unlock their door. Yeah, you they don't can, need to, you can unlock your yeah. door with your mobile app. Exactly. Why can't you check in with your mobile app? Why can't app? you check in with your mobile app? So we were kind of thinking. Those are the types of questions that a CEO would ask. Exactly, exactly. Good, good question, by the way, boss. <laughs> uh, so what we can do here is we can actually put a kiosk in the lobby so that people could actually just come up to the kiosk and, uh, and go ahead and check in directly on it. So Robert, where do you mm -hmm. think we ought to kind of put this? What do you think a good I spot would be? I think it should be right over here. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see what would happen if people have this kiosk then they could just go to the kiosk. Obviously we're going to take some people out of the line because there are people that want to talk to a human. They may have some special purpose they need to talk to somebody about. If not, you can just walk up to the kiosk and go ahead and check in. And as a CEO, I know that what you're really concerned about is, you know, kind of the bottom line and how much this whole thing is going to cost us. And, you know, obviously we know it's going to have some sort of impact on customer uh, happiness, but how much is the whole thing going to cost us? Well, for that, we probably ought to go back into the boardroom. So let's go ahead and uh, run back into the boardroom and take a peek. I'm just zoom back in. Have this whole matrix experience. Pretty awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's really cool. It's cooler for, for you because you're and kind I can of in, see the, you. in that there space. There you are. So you you see me, look. and that's me that's right here. That's a good look for you, by the way. If I were to move. The unattached blue forward. head. Yep. I have a blue Jeep. I work in Azure. I might as well be blue. You know, hey. <laughs> um, so now what we can do is we, if you want to go ahead and uh, uh, use the controllers and click one more time, uh, okay. we'll kind of see what the, what the bottom line is. There you go. And you can see a kiosk. It's going to cost this much. going to save us yep. this much amount of time. And we obviously know it's going to enhance uh, customer satisfaction because yeah, totally they're not going to have to wait. We don't have to do that much coding because we already have the code in the mobile app to detect NFC. Good, good point. Good point. All we need to do is put some more graphs up there. It's good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we kind of wanted to do this to show you how you could take uh, data that you save in Cosmos DB or in the cloud and also take the different backend components that you've seen us talk about and kind of snap all this stuff together in a more immersive experience so that you could, you know, use your imagination, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine that today we'd be doing this all maybe in a Skype call, maybe through email, mm -hmm. you know, how do you actually collaborate? We'd be sending documents back and forth, but this way it brings a whole new level of, of collaboration, visualizations, so we can all know what we're talking about, as well as viewing the data and being able to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. great. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Cool. cool. So I hope that gives you guys a, a taste of how you can integrate this mixed reality stuff that we're working on into your apps. And we will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox.